So the first thing I want to do is just like my expression to figure out where do I start. And in this problem I'm going to start at m dollars in the bank. And then it says that I'm going to remove one-fourth of that amount. So I'm going to remove one-fourth of the amount, which is the amount there was m. So that's where I started minus a fourth of what's already there. And that would give me three-fourths of m. So I've got three-fourths of that original amount in my account. Then it says put in $500. So I'm going to add that back into my account. So is that three-fourths of where I started? Now I'm adding in $500. And now it tells me that instead of that being the final thing, I know where I end. I should end where this expression should equal $900. And that's how I go through this problem. Now, let's look at how this changes with the next problem. Here, I have Keisha. So, we're going to start with Keisha having K dollars. And it says this time I'm removing $500 first. Okay, so I'm gonna, that's K minus 500. And now it says remove one-fourth of the remaining. So if I'm looking at that, I'm removing one-fourth of remaining amount. Well, what is the remaining amount? It's this entire K minus 500. So this is what's remaining, and I'm going to remove, so I'm going to subtract one-fourth of what's remaining. So when I do that, I've got to pay attention that I take this one-fourth, this negative one-fourth, and distribute it accordingly. So that this would give me k minus 500 minus one-fourth k, and then a minus a negative gives me plus 125. And if I combine my like terms, one minus a fourth gives me the three-fourths k, Negative 500 plus 125 gives me negative 375. And the last thing it says that now has 900. So again, I go from having this expression to making it an equation by knowing about where the amount should end. So let's now move on to Aubrey and look at how her situation is. So Aubrey had some toy cars, which we'll just call C. That's where we started. Then Aubrey gave two-fifths of her cars to Sam. So she's now gone from having C to having C minus two-fifths C. So she now has, let's erase that, has three-fifths C at this point. And then bought ten more. So that's three-fifths C plus 10 and afterwards has 22 cars equals 22. Now they want me to solve it. So and actually say, well, how much is that? So it's 3 fifths C plus 10 equals 22. I'm going to subtract the 10 from both sides. This will give me 3 fifths C equals 12. Now I've got to get rid of this fraction, so I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. And I treat that so 5's cancel, the 3's cancel. C would equal 60 over 3, which is 20 cars. So she started with 20 cars at the beginning. Now let's look at how it changes with the second problem. Here Aubrey started with some cars. And she bought 10 more cars. So here we go to C plus 10. Then Aubrey gave two-fifths of her cars to Sam. So it was the amount she has right here and then two-fifths of that. So it was the C plus 10 minus two-fifths of that C plus 10. So here again, as before, I have to take that minus two-fifths and distribute it. And that will give me C plus 10 
minus 2 fifths C minus 4. So C, so that's 3 fifths C plus 6. And it says, now Aubrey had 15 cards left. So I know that has to make an equation by making that equal to 15. Now if I go to solve that, I've got 3 fifths C plus 6 equals 15. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. That gives me 3 fifths C equals 9. And now I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by 5 thirds. And so I'll put that 9 over 1. My 5's cancel, my 3's cancel. So I'm left with C equals 45 over 3, which is 15. So she started with 15 cars and she ended with 15 cars. It makes it kind of a unique problem.